life is incredibly diverse and includes millions of species, most of which we have yet to identify. Charles Darwin's evolutionary theory used a tree of life to explain how all living organisms are connected and how they all share a common ancestor, represented by the trunk in the tree of life. The area of study for naming and categorizing life is called taxonomy, and it's always changing. As scientists have collectively learned more from continuing research and rapidly improving technology, classification schemes have experienced their own evolution. Before DNA technology, relationships among organisms were inferred by similarities in structure, physiology, and lifestyle. Today, scientists use a combination of these traits, as well as DNA, RNA, and protein similarities to make hypotheses regarding the evolutionary history of groups of organisms, known as a phylogeny. A phylogenetic tree can be built to show relatedness among any number of species or other taxonomic groups. These diagrams are constructed using shared characteristics among the groups. A group of organisms that consists of a common ancestor and all its descendants is represented by a single branch on the tree of life and is called a clade. It can be challenging to determine whether the similarities displayed by organisms are due to these organisms having a shared ancestry, these similarities are called homologies, or due to these organisms being subjected to a similar evolutionary pressure, these similarities are called analogies. DNA evidence can help to distinguish homology from analogy. As DNA sequencing has become more common and focus has shifted toward common ancestry, a movement has begun to name and classify groups based solely on shared evolutionary history. The Phyla Code, a set of rules stating that all taxonomic groups should be based on common ancestry, is controversial because it changes historic classifications that have had practical applications. For example, reptiles and birds have traditionally been classified separately based on major structural and physiological differences. However, under the new system, birds are considered reptiles based on shared evolutionary history. Some scientists argue that some traditional classifications should be maintained to avoid confusion, while others argue that the traditional taxonomic system is outdated and gives unreasonable importance to arbitrary sets of traits.